wonderful. So have you got anything to ask or tell? Oh, well, I've got something to tell. Yes. I, uh, I went to urgent care uh, last week, mm -hmm. um, and I have a minimally fractured sternum. Uh-huh. Okay. And it, it hurts. It really hurts when I cough, mm -hmm. but it is getting better. Well, it'll take uh, time for bone to heal. Yeah. The, the only therapy they recommended doing is I'm doing the incentive spirometer, which is you, you breathe in um, a certain volume of air for 10 times and okay. do that three times a day. I need to correct their instructions. Okay. Okay. The proper beginning of breathing is exhalation, not inhalation. Okay. You drive out the air and stay out until you feel an, an imperative urge to inhale. That'll get you the maximal inhalation. Okay. That's basically what I am doing. Oh, good. <laughs> yes. Because I, I find it difficult to uh, get the exhalation if I don't really exhale first. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Okay. And given the state of your sternum, yes. you, you needn't exhale hard. Because when you exhale hard, your abdominal muscles pull on your sternum. Okay. So you just do it within your comfort zone. You don't exhale so hard that you create more pain from it. Right, right. Okay. But I've, I, I'm learning to get in and out of bed a little differently. I do it more gently. Um, if I turn a certain way, I, I feel it. So I'm just being more guarded in, in how I move. Okay. Well, it sounds um, like you have a, a break in store from somatic education exercises. Then. Yeah, I, I agree. Because I, I tried to get on the table last night and just just doesn't work. It's mm -mm. too painful. Yeah, that's it. So what you what we can do is tetracid procedures. That okay. sounds great to me. All right. Have you got anything to share or ask about that? Um, in doing the gold key release, mm -hmm. I'm having limited results with that still. Um, I'm doing Crystal Crown, and I'm, that seems to be working okay. Okay. Well, I would say do more Crystal Crown, because really getting those four factors turned on and integrated will assist anything with Gold Key Release. All right. So what can we do today? Well, that's a good, we can do Crystal Crown, certainly. Uh, we right. need to, but I'd like to see if we can debug what's going on with Gold Key Release that impedes its effectiveness. Okay. Do you have a sense of where the breakdown is? It just, it's it towards, uh, towards the dissolution. That's where it just isn't happening. You mean that you go completely blank? Yeah. Well, it may be that you're succeeding then. Okay. So because the thing can dissolve at any stage along the gold key release. Okay. So if you feel like your item is disappearing and you can't locate it, you can't continue the procedure, is that the case? Yeah. Then you may have gotten the result already. Okay. One of the more extreme forms of that is that you even forget where you are in the procedure and you have trouble locating the next step, even though you may have done it a whole bunch of times. All right. Does that fit? Yeah, it does. All right. Well, Ed, I'm sorry to say it sounds like you're succeeding. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we. Right. What you can do is choose chewier items, more difficult, more solid items. Okay. One way to go about that is what you've observed about yourself, patterns of behavior or patterns of feeling. You okay. can take any one of those and make them the item of a gold key release. Okay. As the, the more the lightweight stuff 
tends not to have enough density easily to keep attention until your attention gets subtler, which is what comes from both of those procedures. Whereas something that's on the more dense side already has you in, in the grip of attention. Okay. So it tends, being persistent, it tends to be an easier target. I see. I tend to, in my case, to take on the most difficult items I can come up with. I've been at it for a while, right? So I'm not lacking in confidence in my ability to do the procedure. Mm -hmm. And the gnarlier the item you take on, the bigger the payoff. Okay. If you were to do that and you find, oh, what? You get stuck or something along those lines, you can choose something slightly less gnarly, less dense. Okay. Because when it's dense, sometimes it has a lot of layers to it, which means that you would have to go after it with many cycles of gold key release. Okay. So I'm giving you a sense of how to choose an item. Sure. As I said, I go for the really gnarly stuff. I go for the most crucial, central to my identity stuff that I locate. And generally, it's because it's what's up in life. Something along okay. those lines. That, uh, again, understanding that someone less familiar with the procedure than I may be daunted even going in. You can either choose something milder or you can run the crystal crown procedure before you do that item. You get okay. why that is? Yeah, crystal crown does uh, um, it cleans up uh, gold key release. That's one thing it does. The other thing it does is it makes your attention more powerful. I can use that. And that is what you need when you're running a gold key release. Okay. And the Crystal Crown brings all four online. And so you, you start from a better footing. If you're going to push a heavy car, it's better to have a good fitting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Uh, that's about it. Okay. I wonder, are there any items that you would like to use me for to do gold key release? Yeah, I've got several. All right, then. Why don't you choose a good one? I got one. All right. You have a name for it? Don't tell yes. me, just you do have a name. Okay. Right. So are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Okay. So state that name to yourself twice with enough pause in between that the second time you say it, it's like the first time you're saying it and signal. Feel having it. Notice where you feel it in you. Feel the shape of its intensity. Feel the persistence of its intensity. Feel refusing it. Feel intending it. Feel refusing it.
Feel how it all matters. Feel how it mattering involves you. Think to yourself, it's true, it's true. Think to yourself, it's untrue, it's untrue, it's untrue. It's true. It's untrue. It's untrue. It's true. It's true. Remember the feeling of it's true. It's true. Remember the feeling of, it's untrue, it's untrue. Remember the feeling of, it's true, it's true. Remember the feeling of, it's untrue, it's untrue. Allow how remembering involves imagining. Stop imagining. Let it dissolve and dissipate. Awaken. Is it more, less, the same? or gone. It's less. Okay. Was there a difference between this pass through and when you've done it by yourself? I, yes, I feel like I had more attention to the steps. Yeah, yeah certainly, because my presence would add to that. What mm -hmm. about the speed? This time seemed quicker. Really? Okay. So the steps were faster, my time taking you through it now, than when you've done it yourself? Yes. Not interesting. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I don't know if that's what it was, but that's the um, sense of, that I got of it. Okay. So that item, notice what's left. State the name to yourself twice. Feel having it. Notice where you feel it in you. Feel the shape of its intensity. Feel the persistence of its intensity. Feel refusing it. Feel intending it. Feel refusing it.
Feel how it all matters. Feel how it mattering involves you. Think to yourself, it's true, it's true. Think to yourself, it's untrue, it's untrue, it's untrue. It's true. It's untrue. It's untrue. It's true. It's true. Remember the feeling of, it's true, it's true. Remember the feeling of, it's untrue, it's untrue. Remember the feeling of, it's true, it's true. Remember the feeling of, it's untrue, it's untrue. Allow how remembering involves imagining. Stop imagining. Let it dissolve and dissipate. Awaken. Is it more, less, the same, or gone? It's less. Okay. So take what's left and state the name of it to yourself. Feel having it. Notice where you feel it in you. Feel the shape of its intensity. Feel the persistence of its intensity. Feel refusing it. Feel intending it. Feel refusing it. Feel how it all matters.
Feel how it mattering involves you. Think to yourself, it's true, it's true. Think to yourself, it's untrue, it's untrue, it's untrue. It's true. It's untrue. It's untrue. It's true. It's true. Remember the feeling of, it's true, it's true. Remember the feeling of, it's untrue, it's untrue. Remember the feeling of, it's true, it's true. Remember the feeling of, it's untrue, it's untrue. Allow how remembering involves imagining. Think to yourself. Imagining, imagining, intending, imagining. Remembering, remembering, imagining, remembering. Attending, attending, imagining, attending. Imagining, 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 imagining. Stop imagining. Stop stopping. Is it more, less, the same, or gone? It is less. Okay, take what's left. State the name to yourself twice. Feel having it. Notice where you feel it in you. Feel the shape of its intensity.
feel the persistence of its intensity. Feel refusing it. Feel intending it. Feel refusing it. Feel how it all matters. Feel how it mattering involves you. Think to yourself, it's true, it's true. Think to yourself, it's untrue, it's untrue, it's untrue. It's true. It's untrue, it's untrue. It's true, it's true. Remember the feeling of, it's true, it's true. Remember the feeling of, it's untrue, it's untrue. Remember the feeling of, it's true, it's true. Remember the feeling of, it's untrue, it's untrue. Allow how remembering involves imagining. Stop imagining. Let it dissolve and dissipate. Awaken. Is it more, less, the same, or gone? It is less. Okay. Take what's left. State the name of it twice. Feel having it. Notice where you feel it in you. Feel the shape of its intensity. Feel the persistence of its intensity. Feel refusing it. Feel intending it.
feel refusing it. Feel how it all matters. Feel how it mattering involves you. Think to yourself, it's true, it's true. Think to yourself, it's untrue, it's untrue, it's untrue. It's true. It's untrue. It's untrue. It's true. It's true. It's untrue. It's untrue. It's true. It's untrue. It's true. It's true. It's untrue. It's true. Remember the feeling of, it's true, it's true. Remember the feeling of, it's untrue, it's untrue. Remember the feeling of, it's true, it's true. Remember the feeling of, it's untrue, it's untrue. Allow how remembering involves imagining. Stop imagining. Let it dissolve and dissipate. Awaken. Is it more, less, the same, or gone? No, by ding, it's gone. Okay. Check again. Is it there or is it gone? I'm not feeling it anywhere. All right, then. So you notice we did a little extra jiggling the key combination. Yes, we did. I had that go for you. Uh, when, when I first heard it, it was um, a little bit um, 
a little bit of a shock, but then it was fine. What did it do? It made me pay attention to the words more. Okay. Now you know why there's jiggling the key. Yeah. Change awakens attention. It sure does. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. So you may feel free to jiggle the key. You may even jiggle the key more than once. Okay. You do it until the feeling of it gets more vivid. All right. That helps to turn on your imagining of it, doesn't it? Yes, yes. Okay, that way you can shift out of either alternative. It's true or it's untrue, and that's what enables you to be free of it. You find that neither it's true nor it's untrue dominates. Okay. When neither it's true nor it's untrue dominates, that really sets the stage for its dissolution. If either it's true or it's untrue dominates the other, your ability to let it dissolve and dissipate is diminished. Okay. That could be a little clue. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, do you have anything to ask or tell at this moment? Um, no. Okay. Is there a trend that you're observing from doing these procedures? The trend that I do notice is the more I do it, the easier it gets. Uh huh. What about the aftermath of having done procedures? The aftermath, I do feel um, more at ease or relieved. Good. Is that all? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> I have something, but, but I've got to wait for it to resurface again. Okay. Oh, yes. Here's a possible potent suggestion as an item. Notice what you feel the, the moment after you hear this. Say when ready. Ready. Accountability. Um, it's okay not to tell me. I just want you to take okay. note of it to okay. see if you feel it has enough charge on it that it would be interesting to do by yourself. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Okay. It may be that doing accountability will empower your doing of these procedures. All right. Okay. Anything more before we quit? Um. I think if we would do something like driving in the pegs, that would that would help. That's true. You could do just driving in the four pegs before you do something with a, as much wattage as accountability. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that you, it, it's certainly a, a viable option to do part of Crystal Crown rather than the whole thing. Whatever you do will give you better leverage. All right. The more you do, the more leverage you'll get. But uh, it's a, an interesting experiment just to do driving in the four pegs before you run a gold key release. Okay. That way you can tell how much benefit it brings you. 
Right, right. Now, all this stuff I've done has been, in that way, experimental in approach. So I try all manner of different combinations mm -hmm. for my own work, my own sake. And sure. that's, that's how I'm observing things like it's good to do Crystal Crown both before and after a gold key release because mm -hmm. I've done it both ways. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see something. I, I just want to see something about a totally different thing, which okay. is your eyeglasses. Yes. Because on one occasion I noticed that one lens was higher than the other. All right. And it still looks like your left, yeah, it does. Your frame is not straight. Now, when your frame isn't straight, the lenses are off kilter, and you're looking through the lenses affects your eyes and your brain. All right. So I recommend getting an optician to tweak those that frame so that it rests horizontally where it should and that the centers of those lenses are straight in front of the centers of your pupils. Okay. And as you may know, opticians do that kind of thing for free. Yeah, I've got a new pair of glasses waiting at the place and then you just gotta get out there and get them. Oh, swell, well that kind of solves that problem. Sure. Uh, one thing I do is I have them put a dot on the lens at the what are called optical centers that's mm -hmm. the, the focal center of the lens. And then you put on the frame, and those dots should be right in front of your pupils. If they're not, it calls for an adjustment of the frame position. Okay. Now, that's especially important with higher power lenses. Okay. okay. So uh, that's all I have to say about that. Okay. You know, the, the last eye exam I had, um, the doctor didn't see anything um wrong with my eyes and they didn't even change the prescription it hasn't changed in over five years my goodness so but we got new frames anyway so well good that well you have a spare do get yeah. them don't do get him to adjust this frame right which will be your your spare but make sure you know like you get that whole thing so it's level really if you mm -hmm. want to know just do this hold just Lift, hold your fingertips on the, on the temples, okay. and one down, one up, and go alternate side to side, and notice what it feels like inside. All right, yeah. See? All right. All right, well, give me a jingle or a, a message when you're ready to set up our next session. I certainly will. All right, then. Thank you, sir. Be well and eat your vegetables. I will. Okay. I will. All right.